I'm going to do a review on the Ozark Trail four-person dome tent. It's uh, Ozark Trail is a Walmart brand. Got this for forty dollars at Walmart. They had a three dome, a three-person dome tent for twenty-nine dollars, but you get a little bit more space with this one, um, floor space and height. So I have spent one night in this solo. And it does fit back in the bag uh, at a challenge, but it does fit back in the bag. Okay. It is a one unit or a one piece tent, meaning the floor and the walls are all attached. There's no secondary floor that you, or a floor you got to put in. Um, and it does have a rain fly that I have wrapped up in here somewhere. There it is. Eight foot by eight foot is what the footprint of it is. It comes with two tent poles and then a vestibule uh, tent pole. Uh, the larger ones are for the tent and this is a smaller one for the vestibule, that one is. So it's quite easy to put up. Get these untangled here. There we go. Once you get the tent poles there, there are little two feet or a foot on each corner that the rod sets in and once you get both of them the rod set in all four corners then you can use the snaps you can also do it beforehand too there's snaps here that you can snap that's what the, does the framework for the tent and if you're doing it by yourself, you can get in here and snap that. That's going to kind of hold it, but it's kind of not. You need the other set of stakes, uh, tent poles here. And get this put together. There we go. And it is going to fall until we get all of these put together or the stakes, tent poles in the, uh, okay, now I can snap a couple of those together, and stretch this out, and then you've got these clips here, that clip to the tent itself. Try to get out of here. There we go. That's better. Now on a night that's no rain, on a night that's no rain and it's warm, you would just leave the rain fly off in there. It's eight foot by eight foot and four foot and a half tall in the center. Comfortably sleeps, well, it says four people. I think it comfortably sleeps two people with an air mattress would, a queen air mattress would fit in there. There is this once staked, there is this additional pocket that leads into the main compartment or in the main tent you can put things in there and you can run electrical in here if you wanted now if you're going to attach the rain 
fly. There it is labeled front and back. And the back has an opening. I gotta go that way. It does have an opening to where it vents, but as you can see, um, and there's so this stakes down too. But if it is raining, you want to keep this back closed. Otherwise, rain will go in there, and I'm not going to stake this all down. But this extra hole is for a vestibule, and it holds it out so the rain will come off and hit the floor, the the doormat, and not into the netting. Now, if you do have this door open. Pretty nice tent for $40. Goes up, comes down very easily. A quick camper type of situation. You could put two cots in there uh, with uh, sleeping bags if you didn't want to lay directly on the ground. And some people will put a tarp down. Uh, I have not. Uh, it did, when it was raining the time I went out, the rain fly did work very well. It didn't get inside the tent wet at all. Uh, if you have the back opened, it will drop rain in. And a couple other accessories that come with the tent is a tablet holder that you hook this. There's hooks in there and you slide your tablet in and you can watch there. And then this here is a net that attaches to four hooks on the top here, and then it's like an attic, you can put things up there. So, nice little tent for $40. Ozark Trail four person dome tent. It's worth the money. You can get much more uh, pricier tents that have just the same amount of features.